Welcome in baseball fans and here in New York baseball from the big city the house that Ruth built the show has an AL East matchup it's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the New York Yankees alongside Chris Singleton I'm John Chompy here we go Singy the fans have been waiting for this major league debut for a while and it's finally here there's a lot of hype around his talent and now we get to see how that looks at the big league level yeah, this is the kind of game it's going to be shared all over social media later tonight. Baseball fans all across the world are aware of this debut, and we're lucky enough to be at the stadium for it, so I'm excited to see what he's got firsthand. My advice to him would just be to soak it all in. Don't worry about the results. Don't worry about the expectations. Just really enjoy this experience because it only happens once. About to get started here. And on the hill in this one, Babe Ruth. Singy always a treat when we get to watch him work. Very crafty guy out there on the hill. A stellar career ERA in the low twos. Very tough to get to. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he flips the script. We'll see how the hitters are able to adapt to him today. So just about set now. Now it's going to be Ryan Roberts. Now a screamer into the outfield. Judge makes the play. One down. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. All right, Singy, how about all the talent in this lineup? Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. Now the number two hitter, Brooks Robinson. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. One down, base is empty. Back to the mound, and that squirts through. Just kept it simple. Third. Played Pepper with the, the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, Eddie. and there's just no one there to Murray. knock it down. Man at first with one gone. Next is switch hitting first baseman, Eddie Murray. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Fouls one away and now three and two. And a pitch. On the ground. And that should be extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. All over that one right there. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Second and third, one gone. Now it's the shortstop, Cal Ripton Jr. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. He'll circle the bases, and the Orioles jump out in front. It's 3-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Next offering is in the dirt.
the pitch. And that one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. On a line, base hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Ryan Mountcastle. One gone runner at first. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. He's got four hits in the series on nine at bats. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Kicks and fires. Good eye right there. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Mullins, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Runner, runner, Here's runner. the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. He throwed a second great jump. Batting seven. The right fielder. Anthony, Anthony Santander, Santander at the plate. Runner, Man runner, on runner. second, two down. Runner breaks for third. Count. Swing and a miss. And now a wide throw to third. Two outs and one in scoring position. That's Next one through. misses. Two and two. And a pop up right side foul territory. Brings it in, and that'll do it. <laughs> Orioles get three on this long ball. It's now 3-0. We go to the bottom of the first. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Hayes makes the catch, and there's one down. Batting second. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. In that cleanup spot, a key piece for this club, Mickey Mantle. Well, these days, we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so, you know, they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. Comes a 2-2. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone now. Alfonso Soriano stepping in now for the Yankees. Alfonso Soriano. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hayes moving under this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Yanks held in check. They trail in this one 3-0. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's Adley Rutschman. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Aye. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches.
Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Adley Rutschman with his first major league home run. A special moment in his young career, and who knows, maybe that'll open the floodgates for him. Yeah, getting that out of the way can be a big confidence booster. It feels like a huge weight just been taken off your back. You can go up there with a lot less pressure on you now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hot for a little while. What do you remember about your first career homer, Chris? Well, I remember it was off of Omar Olivares, and you know, being there in Los Angeles against the Angels, just a tremendous day, great ballpark, and a special moment for sure. Austin Hayes. We just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Next pitch misses outside. Two and one. Next pitch is popped up. Gallo has a beat on it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard now to get on top of as a hitter. The second baseman, Ryan. With how good Robert. these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Now it's the second baseman, Brian Roberts. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Stays alive. The next pitch misses. Full count now. Kicks and deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Out towards right center field, Judge cutting across. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. Out number two. the third baseman number five Brooks Robinson digging in Brooks Robinson looking pretty good at the plate he's four for ten in the series and a pitch and a count one and two <laughs> punch out there that's his second strikeout one scores in the inning coming on this solo home run it's now a four nothing ball game Bottom half of inning number two. Now here's the switch inning power threat, Mickey Mantle. And now the lefty. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Mullins settles under it and makes the grab. One up, one down. Batting fifth. The right fielder, Aaron. Here comes Aaron Judge. Good contact guy, good defender. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable because he has the ability. That one drilled left field. 
And it one hops the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Sheesh. Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. And now here is Jorge Posada. Makes the grab for the second out. Batting seven. The center fielder, Curtis Granderson. So two down now, and here is Curtis Granderson. Granderson really thriving with the bat this season here at home. Judge stands at second with two gone. Swung on, belted. Way back there. You can kiss it goodbye. His 12th of the season, and they cut into the deficit. It's 4-2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Two outs. And he chases that one. And that'll do it. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 4-2. Out of the third inning and into the box for Baltimore, Eddie Murray been a rough start on the mound for this guy his third inning so important for him to get on track turn the page settle in do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one the lefty ready and a 1-1 one -one. oh this ball is crushed into left field it's on its way and gone An absolutely majestic shot. His seventh home run of the season. And they add a run. It's 5-2. He got on plane with that high fastball. And look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. So now it's the full hole hitter, Cal Ripton Jr., with four hits in the series and seven runs batted in. Going to count one and two. One Always ball. exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. That misses the zone, and the count is even two and two. Wind in the pitch. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And that's the first out. And here is Cedric Mullins. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Here's a 1 1. And that's downstairs and outside. 
That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball three. And now a full count. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. And a pitch. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride low bat, out of the way six. early. He That's stayed inside that ball and squared Ryan. it up out front. Oh, Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some Runner. speed on first. Runner takes off. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. Blocked by the catcher. And he steals second base without a throw. Next pitch is inside. Now three and one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The 3 2 is nope. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding now the zone for him in the past. Two. Now, even Anthony if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Next pitch ball misses inside. Down. Two and two. And down on strikes he goes, and there's two away. Felt definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. The next offering misses. Now two balls and a strike. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And that is that. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's 5-2. Back here at the ballpark, here's the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. The Yankees in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. Tracks it down for the out. Now and there's one down. DJ LeMayhew will hit next. He's 0 for 1. Next pitch is outside. And a count 2 and 1. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open, straight up, and now more close. Absolutely crushed! And that one is going to land by a van down by the river. That was a moonshot. His 11th of the year, and they're chipping away. It's 5-3. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this. If that was very patient, and it paid off. Now, here is Jason Giambi. The pitch. And now one and two. One and two.
popped up foul territory behind the play. Rutschman settles underneath it, hauls it in, and there's two away. There's always a concern when running over towards the dugout because of that on-deck circle. Second there's usually base. a bat, a weighted oh, bat, oh, a donut, a pine tar rag. Oh, no. Catchers have to be really heads up to avoid that stuff. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. The Yanks do get one on the solo homer. It's now 5-3.